everyone. Today we are going to learn the difference between two important functions of Microsoft Excel that are if and if s. So you'll see how they differ from each other. The if function is basically used to evaluate a single condition while if s is used to evaluate multiple conditions. But how? Here we have an example that is the response of a survey of a survey in which there were multiple questions but I have mentioned the response of one question by different students and the options were from 1 to 5. So if I uh, code this response to this key that I have already mentioned that 5 is for strongly agree, 4 is for agree, 3 is for neutral, 2 for disagree and 1 is for strongly disagree. So I am going to code this response in the in this uh, these digits into their text as by using the if condition so let's see how they differ from each other in such a situation if i apply only the if function then what is here here we have only one logical test that we can evaluate using the if function so it means we have to evaluate this cell and we have to check with that if it is equals to five then value if true what it should return it should return strongly agree and if it's not 5 it will return 0 and i will press enter so it was 5 so it has returned st strongly agree and if i drag it to the rest of the responses i can see here that it has returned only strongly agree for 5 and for the rest it has returned 0 because we can only evaluate single condition here we cannot put the like if f9 is equals to 4 you have to replace it with agree and if it's 3 you have to replace it with normal because we can only evaluate one condition here so similarly if we if want to evaluate the same using the if s how it can be let's see if s so here you can say see that first we have to apply the logical test that is if it is equals to 5 then well what should be the value if true it should return strongly agree. Then we have to check another condition that if it, this cell, again I will select this cell, that if ce this cell is equals to 4, then what it should return? It should return agree. Then again I have to evaluate this cell, cell to check if its value is 3, then what it should return? It should return neutral. But if its value, again I will select this cell and will check if its value is equals to 2, it should return disagree and then Again, I have to select this cell to check if it's equal to 1, then it should return strongly disagree. So that's all and I have to close the bracket and I have to press the enter. So I have applied multiple conditions here that is strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, strongly disagree. But in if I have was having only one single condition. So this is how they differ from each other. So if I drag it down, I can see here that it has returned or it has coded all these digits into the text that I have mentioned here. Like 3 is for neutral, so it 3 is for neutral, 4 is for agree, 2 is for disagree, and 1 is for strongly agree, disagree. So this is how the, in the function if and if s differs from each other. That's all from today's lecture. Thank you.